South Korea's locally developed KF-21 Barame, or Hawk, a prototype, recently completed a 30-minute test flight. The KF-21 was equipped with four mock-ups of the long-range Meteor air-to-air -air missile and an infrared search and track system. It reportedly reached 400 km per hour, 250 miles per hour, below its top speed of 1.8 times the speed of sound. Despite its status as a state-of-the-art aircraft, the Defense Acquisition Program Administration DARPA designates the KF-21 Barame fighter as a 4.5 generation plane. Because the supersonic aircraft lacks features such as an internal weapons bay that make the aircraft more stealthy. South Korea is developing a new fighter jet to catch up with China and Russia, but military observers believe its new KF-21 fighter jet is far from comparable to advanced fifth-generation fighters like China's J-20. However, defense analysts state that the aircraft may be able to fly higher and faster than the US F-35 combat jet. South Korea is now one of only a few countries that has developed and flown a next-generation supersonic fighter. It also indicates that the country is now capable of producing fighter aircraft on its own. It will also serve as a springboard for the development of better fighter aircraft and operate locally developed arms. Russia, China, the United States, Japan, France, Sweden, the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain are among the other countries developing such aircraft. India is independently developing a twin-engine, fifth-generation supermaneuverable stealth multirole fighter called the HAL Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. Turkey and Pakistan have teamed up to develop and manufacture a fifth-generation fighter aircraft known as Thai TFX. The two countries plan to develop a prototype in 2023 and conduct the aircraft's maiden flight in 2026. Only the United States, China, and Russia currently have combat-ready, fifth-generation fighters. The F-22 and F-35 from the United States, the J-20 from China, and the Su-57 from Russia, they typically include stealth, supermaneuverability, supersonic cruise, and advanced avionics. And highly integrated computer systems, capable of networking with other elements within the battlespace for situation awareness. A key feature of all fifth-generation fighters is their optimized surface design and weapon storage in internal bays to reduce radar reflection and maintain stealth. Despite the fact that the KF-21's aerodynamic design included many stealth fighter features, but the test flight revealed that it carried four model missiles on external hard points, implying very limited stealth capabilities. The KF-21's American-made F 414 GE 400K engines are also a clear shortcoming, as their power would not be able to match fifth generation fighters' requirements for supercruise and maneuverability. Anthony Wong Tong, a military analyst based in Macau, said the KF 21 is not even a competitor to the Chinese FC 31 fighter jet, let alone the J 20. But it can be a good opponent to the J 10 variants. The FC-31 is China's second fifth-generation fighter, which flew for the first time in 2012 and is still under development. The KF-21 and FC-31 are both medium twinjet fighters with similar sizes and specifications, as well as some similarities in their silhouettes. The Korean jet, like the FC-31, is designed for a top speed of Mach 1.8. The J-10 is a Chinese-made fourth-generation multi-role combat aircraft that was introduced in 2005 and is now in service in large numbers. The J-10 as a single-engine jet is narrower and lighter than the KF-21. Its latest variants, the J-10B and J-10C, are also equipped with advanced avionics like AESA radar, electro-optic target sensor and infrared seeker, and they too carry powerful weapons. Nevertheless, with advanced avionics such as an AESA radar, an electro-optical targeting pod, an infrared search and track system, and capable armaments such as air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, the KF-21 is well qualified to be a modern, fourth or four-plus generation fighter. And if it performs well, the KF-21 might pose some threat to China, given the US-South Korea military alliance, and also has potential to become a strong competitor in the global market. 
South Korea hopes to promote the homegrown 4 plus generation warplane as a less expensive alternative to the imported US Lockheed Martin F 35 Lightning II. And its developer, Korea Aerospace Industries, has even announced plans to upgrade the jet to a stealth fighter in the future.